when you lose a bunch of weight, everyone's really excited for you because you get to go shopping. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Come with me as I clean out my closet. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Manya and I've lost 31 pounds on the WW Purple Plan. Now it's taken me 11 months to lose 31 pounds. That's uh, slow for some. It's totally fine for me. Slow and right wins the fight. That's what I always say. I want to keep this off for the rest of my life so I don't care how long it takes. But I will say this. No one really noticed until I'd lost 15 pounds and I didn't really need new clothing until I hit about 20, maybe even 25. But all of a sudden in the last two months, I've needed to basically replace everything in my closet. And well, it's sort of fun, it's fun to see progress. It's also kind of a pain. And I don't mean to complain, but I have to replace literally everything but socks. <laughs> I think some people lose weight in their feet. I haven't noticed that yet, but I've gone from a size 14 to a size eight. My bra size has gone from a 38 triple D to a 34 D. <laughs> My underwear falls off. <laughs> Like every single thing has had to be replaced. So what I'm going to show you today is I've tried out all my swimsuits. I have a pool at my house, I have a lot of swimsuits, and my drawer was a mess because I had swimsuits from the past and then I had swimsuits from last summer because I had lost some weight as of last summer and then I have swimsuits for this summer and things just weren't fitting anymore. I also am constantly buying new workout clothes at this point because I run outside and my pants were falling off. <laughs> like every two steps I was pulling my pants off. So uh, let's get started. I'm, I'm trying some stuff on. Um, tell me what you think. I uh, yay or nay a lot and a lot is being given away. Let's get into it. So first I wanted to give you a sense as to what I look like now. This is a suit I bought about two months ago in a Target haul. I'll link the video below if you're interested. This one fits. I like that it's modest and it covers my entire behind. It is a size eight or a size medium. I can't remember how this swimsuit uh, is laid out. So here's an old bikini top that has underwire, is a triple D. It's hard to tell, it is so, loose on me as are those bottoms. This you're gonna see repeated over and over in the bottoms. They're just hanging off of my butt. I like how high the bottoms are, but man, they are too big. Both of those have to go. These bottoms I've had for a really long time and they've always felt small, but look, I can't keep them. The, from the front they look fine, but from the back, that saggy butt syndrome, they've gotta go. 
another set of bottoms. These are okay, but then I turn and saggy butt. <laughs> I don't know how to uh, how to compensate for that, so I think they have to go. These, they fit okay, but I have some loose skin from weight loss around my waist and in my stomach, and you can see that it's giving me a bit of a uh, of love handles, which I don't like and make me self-conscious. Pulling them up isn't doing anything. They got to go. And then lastly, these do the same thing. Look at that. Not flattering. I feel like I can at this point do better. So these also are going to go as is that top, of course. These I kept. Uh, they're lavender. It's hard to tell in this footage, but they are lavender color. I think they fit really nicely. I can't believe I used to wear them because they clearly would not have fit me before. Uh, I, You know, that loose skin is a little disturbing to me. I probably only wear a bikini when I'm at my own house in my own pool by myself. And then this one is interesting. This is a, a sun protected long sleeve top. I have nothing on underneath it, and you can see the lack of uh, support is bugging me, but I did decide to keep it. It was way too tight when I bought it, and I never returned it to Amazon. Uh, now it fits, so I'll go ahead and keep it, but probably wear a suit underneath it just to <laughs> keep the girls contained because I can tell that is driving me crazy, and um, I'm not even really outside yet. This is the first of many flowy tops. You can see when I pull it up how big it makes me look. These were the only kind of suits I felt comfortable in before my weight loss. They're, uh, you can find them on Amazon, Miracle Suit, that kind of brand. It's a tankini. I like that it was flowy. I was very self-conscious of anything that hugged my stomach area. Uh, and now when I look at it, it just, they make me look enormous. That back is so cute though. I'm sad to let this one go, but none of them look good. Uh, they have underwire. They don't look like they're supporting me. They're huge. They, they did a lot of good when I had them and I loved them, but I just, they're not working for me anymore. And you can see how many I had. When you have a pool at your house, you tend to have a lot of swimsuits because there's nothing worse than putting on a wet swimsuit. Am I right? Uh, I loved this one, but it's just not flattering. This is the only one of the old ones that I think is still flattering, although I am going to get rid of it because it offers me really no support. You can see how uncomfortable that makes me because it's too big. And I never quite figured out the, the strap situation. Uh, I would often have to go to Amazon and look at how the model was wearing it to try and remember how to how to wear it that's cute this is from last year so I'd lost about 15 pounds 20 pounds by the time I bought these suits this one I'm going to keep the navy I think is really really cute no underwire I <laughs> don't really need it anymore um, I'll keep that one but I decided not to keep this one. They're exactly the same suit, exactly the same size, but there's maybe it's the color of the military green, but it just sort of gaped open on the sides, too big in the belly, too big in the butt. I don't know how that happens where you buy the same suit in the same size and one fits and one doesn't, but this one, this one's gonna, gonna go into the, into the bin. And then this is one I bought about a month ago. Look how good that looks. Uh, this is a somersault brand. The color blocking one was, was the one I've been eyeing for a really long time. They were sold out on the colors I wanted, so I just got navy, and I think it looks really good. Moving on to uh, cover-ups. This is a black one that I used to wear all the time that I now think just looks like a big bag on me. Not at all flattering, so I'm going to let that one go. And then I'm going to keep this one. I think this white one, I like how it shows my body underneath. It's see-through. It's cute. Uh, and then also the black one, which is hard to see on this video. Oh, yeah, you can see through it. I, I will keep that one as well. These are for those really, really hot days where I just want to have something over my suit, but I can't have something super hot. So I will be keeping that one as well. And then this is a UPF shrug thing. 
I think this has got to go. It's not flattering anymore. And I have other sun protective clothing that I think, think is more flattering. And then lastly, these I bought, I'll link them below. I love these and I'll definitely keep them. So they can either be worn as a halter top dress. This is the one in black and it is some protective clothing. I don't tie it very well here because I'm just trying to show you what it looks like. But it's really nice, like if you're at a resort and you want to go eat and your, your suit isn't wet, you can wear that as a dress. I also love that it has a hole in the side. You can see I'm trying to find it and then I'm going to thread it, which will turn it into a skirt. And I think it's super flattering now. I didn't always love it before my weight loss. I thought it kind of, it didn't, I didn't really have a waist before, but now that I'm putting it on, I think it looks really, really good. A little hard to see in this footage because everything's so dark, but I have a black one. And then I also have a navy one. I like having some protective clothing, especially in the Texas sun of it all. There's the navy one. And I'm just going to show you it, it. It's the same thing. You can make a halter dress. So that's really it, guys. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of thing. And let's look at my giveaway pile. Okay, here's the final result. I have a friend who is a little bit behind me on the weight loss. She started maybe six months after me. So she gets a lot of my clothes because she can fit into them now, but won't be able to later. So this is her pile. She didn't want any of the flowy top swimsuits, so that's what those are. Those will go to charity. And then I didn't show you what these drawers look like before, but look at them now. Shirts, pants, so this is exercise leisure wear. And then this is swimsuits and cover-ups, and then t-shirts. I'm not a big t-shirt wearer, I'm not a big pants wearer. The only pants I really wear are yoga pants, and so I have t-shirts you saw in the video. I have t-shirts for different, like, ugly sweater day, or ugly holiday sweater. I have some for my work, that kind of thing, so I just keep those around. All right, thanks for joining me today. Let me know if you like this kind of content. I certainly have more drawers over there I need to go through, so if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I also have all my work clothes, like all my work dresses. I gotta go try those on and go through those as well. <laughs> Let me know you like this, or if you don't like it, I'll just do it without the camera. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Bye.